Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a comparison video using the Revlon dryer and styler with the paddle brush attachment and using a regular Schmegler hair dryer and a paddle brush. I can't remember what, I think this is a Remington Pro Air Turbo something another i'll leave a link for everything i'm using in this video in the description box down below they are amazon affiliate links as well so if you do purchase through my link i earn a small commission so if you do want to support me in that way go ahead and do so but yeah let's get straight into this video all right so i lost track of time my hair is virtually dry look at my hair this is the closest you will see my hair get to an afro it's actually a vibe how fluffy it is. <laughs> right, so I got this big fluffy section here, <laughs> and I'm gonna apply some of this Fabric Shine spray. And then I'm gonna take heat protectant spray. So now I'm going to take my Revlon One Step Styler and Dryer with the brush attachment and I'm going to blow dry my hair with it on this side and the other side I'm going to do it normally with this hair dryer. I'm going to use it on the first level. Here we go. Right, so I'm starting off at the ends as always and I'm working my way up towards my hair. As I mentioned, my hair is literally dry, like it's virtually dry and I just basically dampened my hair with the products that I use because it's not actually good to blow dry your hair when it's already dry because that can cause dryness, damage and brittleness as well so you don't want to be doing that. So yeah, I dampened my hair with whatever products I used and I'm just going slowly working my way up. I've got it on the coolest setting on this dryer just so that I don't overdo it with the heat. And as you can see, it's doing a great job going through my hair. Like there's no stuttering, there's no, you know, kerfuffle. <laughs> it's doing what I want it to do and I'm able to control the movement a lot better. So yeah, as you can see, I didn't have any problems at all. I literally did this in one go, section by section. So I had two sections on each side and then I sectioned off the section into two again. That way I could get up into the roots better instead of just trying to do it all in one go. And I recognised something about this hairdryer that I didn't recognise before. I used to complain about the hairdryer not getting to the roots. And I realised that most of the heat goes at the top of the hairdryer. So you want to like direct the tip of the brush to the roots. And it gets the roots really good that way. So as you can see like I'm using the hairdryer in a vertical position. And I'm just sliding it down my hair. And that's because the heat's coming from the top. That's one side done. Nice and easy. Oh, the next section. So I did a cool setting all over until it was fully dry and smoothed out. And then I went in with the high heat and blowed it out straight as possible. So this section only took me eight minutes from beginning to end. So that was basically what, four minutes per section and my hair is really long as well. Now I'm just gonna roll this side up a bit. So I don't want it to frizz back up. And now I'm gonna take my hair dryer. This is the Remington Pro. I can't remember what it's called. I'll just leave it. I'll leave the link for it in the description box below. And I'm gonna take my paddle brush and I'm just gonna zoom zoom. And I'm gonna use it on low heat, low speed until it's fully dry. And then I'm gonna blast it on high heat, high speed, just to get it as straight as possible. Right, so the other side <laughs> so as you can see i'm taking my time to try and blow dry my ends first just so that i don't snag them and i ended up snagging them anyway <laughs> so instead i tried the tension method where i was just holding my hair straight and blowing it out just so that it can stretch out a bit and then i had to stop and actually detangle my hair afterwards because i just thought okay maybe it will work better if my hair is detangled first so i went ahead and did that yeah i'm just gonna comb it out because i just felt it snagging that's all i felt snagging and then i went in with the blow dryer again and as you can see i'm still snagging at the ends and this is exactly what you don't want to be doing to your hair it's literally snagging my hair and this is when you can find like all those little hairs that come off your hair that's breakage you don't want to be seeing that at all 
so yeah i'm just trying my hardest to blow dry it and i'm having to stop so many times here to adjust my grip to part of more sections yeah it was just a bit annoying it took a while for my hair to get straight i used the cool setting first and then i moved it up to the medium setting because the cool setting wasn't doing much and my hair was pretty much dry before i went on to the higher setting anyway as you can see it's just snagging completely through and through even when it gets a bit straighter it's still snagging to be honest i did used to use this method all the time and i didn't really have any problems back in the day so i don't know what's going on i know i did have a lot of single strand knots during this video i did cut them all off by the way the video's coming but the hair was snagging so much so maybe the single strand knots is the reason behind that but i mean look just look i'm struggling <laughs> Let's look at the pain on my face oh no yeah it was a struggle i'm not gonna lie it was it was a struggle no i'm done <laughs> no I'm not feeling it still <sighs> it's a lot of hard work i didn't get as hot with the revlon one so let's go again and with this hair dry i'm directing the heat downwards so that my hair doesn't fly around and i'm combing the comb downwards as well so that all the hair has been directed in the same way. At first I wasn't making the nozzle touch my hair, but I realized that I get more control when I get the nozzle attachment to touch my hair. But I don't like doing this because I've burnt my hair doing this one time before in the past. So I don't really like doing that at all. I don't really like the nozzle to be anywhere close to my hair, just like hovering over my hair instead. But yeah, just trying, really trying, <laughs> giving it a good blow and i finished off with putting it on high heat high speed so with the blow dryer and the paddle brush it took about 10 minutes to do all the blow drying but that's not including the amount of time that I stopped to detangle my hair to section off my hair and all the rest of the stupid shenanigans that was going on <laughs> so yeah as you can see the revlon does a way better job oh no so here's the difference between the two as you can see, this side is a lot more flatter, more shiny, more smooth. This side still has a lot of texture in it and it doesn't feel as smooth as this side. So I'm just going to go over it with <laughs> the uh, Revlon just so that I can have the hair come out the same. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to blow dry it and then I'm going to go over it with this one on cool because <sighs> this one, this cool shot is rubbish. So just like I did before, I was just taking the Revlon brush and just going section by section, using the top part of the hairdryer to get deeper into my roots to get them more flat. Just slowly going through, just getting it straight as possible because I am going on to do my curly to straight routine. That should be up next week. So if you want to see that video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So that's looking nice and flat now. Definitely taking a break before I straighten because this is ridiculous. So yeah, let's take it down and I'm going to do a cool shot with the other hair dryer because this cool shot is crap on this one so yeah i'm gonna do that now so with the cool shot i just blow over my hair i do go over it with the brush as well just so that it can go deeper into the hair but i just literally use it like a fan and just blow dry <laughs> blow my hair just to cool myself down as well a little bit and just to make sure all the hair is completely cool before i finish ah uh, really hot really really so yeah that's all done now and i still definitely definitely do re recommend the revlon styler and dryer brush because i mean look it was so easy to do this side compared to this side and it was just fiddly doing you know two hand motion with the blow dryer and the brush together so yeah if you haven't bought this hair dryer already i don't know what you're doing if you do a lot of blow drying styles as well this will take the blow drying time down by a lot so i don't feel like i wasted my money buying this hair dryer because i did actually buy it to start diffusing my hair and i don't do that regularly either i didn't do it much over the winter period because i didn't go outside that much because i was you know a little bit depressed so yeah um i will be using that diffuser a lot more in the winter months because i don't feel like it's necessary to diffuse your hair but anyways that's another story for another time but yeah guys that's the end of the video if you enjoyed this little comparison video don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from myself 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.